Hey friends, it's Jay Bear from Convince and Convert coming to you live from my hotel room in Detroit, Michigan, the day after the big presidential election. You may not know this, but my background is actually in politics. I worked in presidential campaign politics and other campaigns. Uh, that was my original career was a political campaign manager, but now I'm a marketer. And so I see lots of lessons from these election results. Doesn't matter who I voted for. Doesn't matter who you voted for. As a marketer, there's things we can take away from what we have witnessed this year. Ultimately, the summary is that marketing and politics are about action, not necessarily information. Information in many, in many cases begets action, but ultimately action is what you're looking for, not just information. So a few ways that I think uh, President-elect Trump uh, outmarketed Hillary Clinton. My friend uh, David Meerman Scott wrote a great blog post this morning called The Better Marketer Won, and, and I have to agree for, for several reasons. First, I think what, what we've seen is, is to coin Sally Hogshead's phrase, different is better than better. President-elect Trump created a very sharp difference between uh, what he is and what he represents and what the status quo represents and also what traditional politicians represent. And in many cases, different is better than better. Now, that's partially because being memorable is often better than being thoughtful. I think it's safe to say that the Clinton campaign ran the more thoughtful, substantive, issues-oriented campaign, but that doesn't necessarily make it the most memorable campaign. See, when you make people think, whether it's in cam campaigns or having to read a long white paper or sit through a, a lengthy webinar or slog through whatever else you're making them slog through to consider your products and services, you are making them do the heavy lifting. And we are in an era where most consumers and most voters don't want to do the heavy lifting. Now, is that the best possible thing for society? Eh, debatably it is, debatably it's not. But the reality is that people want their information served up to them snack-sized. And certainly President-elect Trump was able to do that. On a related topic, impact is better than accuracy. Every single fact-checker, truthiness uh, investigator found that uh, Secretary Clinton ran the more truthful campaign with fewer distortions of the fact, etc. But when you are okay with distortions of the, of the fact, then you can deliver your messages in a way that inherently gives them more impact. The truth, in many cases, requires you to deliver messages with a degree of shading, a degree of nuance, a degree of gray that makes them less impactful. I think we've also discovered something that I've been talking about for years, which is that the wizard is, is better than the wand. Uh, Secretary Clinton ran, by all accounts, the most sophisticated big data voter turnout operation in the history of politics, yet those voters didn't actually turn out, at least not to the degree that she had hoped and, and her coalition had believed would be the case. The wizard is better than the wand. It's not about big data. Big data will not set you free. It's about big understanding. It's about impact and emotion, not necessarily only math and science. And so certainly big data, massively important, can do remarkable things. IBM's Watson technology, among others, can do things that were unthinkable just a few years ago. But don't fall into a trap of thinking that big data, the fact that you have data, means that you win. It doesn't. It just means that you have raw materials to win. You still have to be sharp. You still have to have that big understanding. And we've also seen that authenticity is better than cultivation. There's no question that, that from in the eyes of the voters that President-elect Trump is a more authentic or an incredibly authentic character, uh, you know, defies all the traditional conventions of what a political candidate, especially a presidential candidate, should be or how that, that type of a person should behave. And that degree of, of sort of smashing the norms increases perceived authenticity. And we are in an era that has been historically beset recently, at least, with, with high gloss you know, high production values and, and things that are perfect and, and just so. And I've been writing about this a lot. I think it's a huge trend for content marketing next year, a swing away from sort of fictional brand stories and toward nonfiction, authentic documentary style brand stories that the perfect photograph is actually less effective than the imperfect from the hip Instagram photograph. And I think we saw that in this election as well, that rough edges are actually more authentic uh, than polish. And last relevancy is is the killer app, right? Relevancy is more important than budget. Um, certainly, Secretary Clinton uh, had substantially more financial resources at her disposal, uh, but yet still was unable to, to win in the places that, that needed uh, to, to be secured to, to win the Electoral College. And I feel like it's a simple fact that, that President-elect Trump 
had more relevancy to those voters. Uh, he didn't have a lot of other advantages, but but for them, he had the more relevant message. And relevancy creates emotion. Relevancy creates action. And remember, marketing and politics are not so different. It's always about action, not about information.